Hello, hello, it's the Gynae Geek here today. I'm going to be talking about lessons in labia. I think that uh, female external genitalia is something that's not very well understood and people often don't know how to describe the different areas. So I've got a brief anatomy lesson and then I'm going to talk about labiaplasty, which is something that's getting quite a lot of media coverage at the moment. So I'm drawing a lady lying with her legs open towards us and sorry the area here is a little bit fuzzy um, but it actually can be because this is the mons pubis where your pubic hair grows if you haven't shaved it off or ripped it out. Then we have the clitoris and the area above that is a little fold of skin called the clitoral hood. Then we have the urethra where your urine comes out and the vagina. The urethra can be a little bit difficult to make out from the vagina because the area there is quite folded. Then we have the labia minora, which are the small lips. Um, these are very pink, often quite red and fleshy. Um, and it's normal for them to be very asymmetrical and not equal in size. They can be small or large. And the red appearance is due to the, the high blood supply that we have in this area. Then we have the labia majora or the large outer lips. These are covered in skin, um, but this skin is actually often much darker than the surrounding skin. And that's due to changes in the hormones that occur at puberty. Then we have the anus at the back and the area between the vagina and the anus is called the perineum. Now the whole area from the mons pubis right down to the anus is also called the vulva. So I mentioned I want to talk about labiaplasty. This is also known as designer vagina surgery. It seems to be getting a lot of media coverage and I'm not sure that everybody knows exactly what it means. Now no two labia or vulva are the same. These are two vulva that I made earlier and as you can see they're completely different on either side and different lengths and sizes. And so labiaplasty means cutting the labia minora, so the, the fleshy lips, with an aim of reducing them in size. And that may be due to people finding them too large when they're doing sport or having sex. Um, but also most likely done for cosmetic purposes to make them more symmetrical. There's several different techniques that can be used, but it basically means removing part of the labia minora and sewing it back together.